Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is a kind of emergency video because I ordered a natural snail, which is a zebra snail. As you can see, I've isolated it from the tank just because this shell has cracked and probably did in transport to the store. And the gippy was actually trying to eat it and that's not nice. So I had to isolate the snail so I could fix it. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. Please hit the subscribe button. Yes, so here you can see the snail. I put it in a glass just to keep an eye on it. And from this angle, the only thing you can see is a big crack that hasn't cracked the actual shell because it was on the top, which you couldn't see. But this is gonna be my supply for fixing the snail. So I boiled egg to get the like skin thing. I don't know what it's called on the inside of the eggshell, a knife to cut out the piece and also super glue and I did add a, a nail file just because I needed something to dab the glue with. So by boiling the eggshells and trying to get um, the like skin of the egg, you could glue it back together and this worked for me. I mean the snail is still alive, it's half a year later so yep, it's an old video. But as you can see, it's important to dry off the snail first. Of course, keep the snail itself dry, uh, wet. Don't dry, the, no, no, no. Don't dry your snail, just the shell. As you can see there, it, the shell has a crack. It hasn't cracked, but you can see the tip. The entire snail is exposed. And the gippy tried to have a feeding frenzy. So I had to do this. So desperate times, desperate measures, after a lot of YouTubing searches and reading up online, this was the best I could find. But hopefully, I was hopeful it was gonna work and I mean it's six months later and the, still, the snail is doing better. And also I've added some calcium to the tank, meaning the snail could get some calcium and repair the shell and start building up a new shell. But as you can see here, the pieces are of, uh, of the boiled egg, you can just peel it right off. This is a hard boiled egg, just so I was sure everything was done. I mean, the shell should always be fine because it is on the outer layer. But that's like the skin you want to use. So I just took it out and just tried to place it on the snail and see how it fits. You don't want to do a sloppy job, you want to like wrap it tight so the tip would be like, so the tip would be fully covered but not with air bubbles. I tried to making it smaller here and cutting it a little bit, just adjusting so it wouldn't be too much coverage or too little. So this takes time and this wasn't my first attempt, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> but. I, I like to do things a little bit proper, properly. You could probably see I'm shaking a little bit because I had the flu and I was really ill, but you know, the aquarium, it comes first. So I'm basically trying, as I said, to wrap the, uh, the skin around without getting any bubbles. And as you can see, it's wrapped around quite tight and it covers the most important part. Also, it will have uh, it will go over onto the shell. You do not want to glue on your snail because that's, I can imagine that could be painful. And it's also important to use super glue that's not a gel. If you're using a gel kind, that could be toxic to your aquarium. So either you want to use a um, aquarium safe super glue or you just want to use a regular super glue super glue i'm from norway and our there's a compound you don't want in your glue we don't have that in our regular super glue as you can see i'm also struggling because my super glue kind of dried yeah i use a lot of super glue which is completely normal i guess so I had to take another one. Doesn't matter which one you use as long as you do your research curse because there's a compound and I don't remember it. I should, but I don't. But just use aquarium safe glue because the gel has the compound that will diffuse in the water and make everything bad, bad, bad. And you are trying to save your snail, not kill it. So yeah, the concentration is high. 
but I've mended the crack on the shell. As you could see, I just dabbed a little bit of super glue because there was nothing exposed there. It was just the tip that was completely exposed. And you need to let it dry just a little bit. You can dab on the shell and feel if it's still sticky. If it's not, pop the snail back in water. This doesn't, I don't think they would be too fine on land drying out. But it's probably going to be fine for a little while, while while you are working on it. Because you're trying to save it. And also this nail, it doesn't show that well in the video, but it also had a crack on the like downside of the shell. So you can't see actually there because it's not that visible, but it had an exposed part. And because you could see the difference actually on the snail, uh, what's supposed was like the outer side of the snail and was supposed to be on the inside of the shell. And yeah, then again, my gippies were going nuts. They were trying to eat the poor guy alive and that's not fine, not at all. So I really did my investigation of how the shell looked. So it was a big crack on the side, which I just glued. And of course you saw the tip that now is white. It looks like it has a little white hat, uh, but yeah. And now it's getting a little skirt. <laughs> I hope it's a girl, <laughs> my little girly snail with a little skirt. So the skirt actually healed up quite fast because that part is now gone um, on the snail and the shell has grown back right there. The top has taken a little bit longer, but I mean, there was quite big part missing on the snail. I reckon it, it was the shell had cracked maybe a couple, three millimeters further down than what it was supposed to be so the transport was kind of rough for the little guy but here you can see me investigating it you need to take a look closer look on your snail just checking how the glue is attaching and if i got every air bubble out and i'm just testing and looking for more cracks because it has had a quite rough trip and they're easy things to fix as you can see, giving them a little, little white hat. It's easy to fix and and it's also a good thing to do because you want to keep your snails. They live for quite some time and I mean, these eat, eat algae. But the reason why there was like a clip here is because I put it back in water because it was dry. So I do this over um, different sections so the snail would be fine because I mean, they do creep up on the glass and stay on the glass top. So I don't know how long, um, how long they they can stay out of water. But I think the clue with them is if it gets too dry, they will drop. So they will just let go and drop back into the water. But of course, the snail can't do that here. So I'm not quite sure. If you do know how long a snail could be out of water, like safely. Please comment down below because I really want to know that because I haven't really timed them because that would be a weird thing to do or yeah, I can't really say I stare that much at my aquariums. But here you can see the little guy with all his glue and he now has a or she has a skirt and a little top hat, which looks kind of cute. You will know which, <laughs> which nail you mended to say it like that. But here it's back in the aquarium and you can see it's doing fine and you want to make sure that the skin uh, stays on so it doesn't like rip loose and I also checked the gippies just to make sure they didn't eat it but I glued it quite tight and I did it right so it wasn't any air bubbles and the gippies didn't try to eat the snail just because it had a white hat now so that was that was very good the snail was able to be yeah be on its own instead of being picked by the the gippies so here's the little guy just maybe a couple of hours later and i mean they're so cute look at those little teethies they're so cute i love my snails but anyways if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please hit the subscribe button this was like an emergency rescue snail video but it's necessary because 
there's not a lot you can do, but you want to do the right thing. So stay tuned for my next video and thanks for watching. Bye bye.